guys, how's it going? We're in Santa Pola. Nice boat there, it's an attraction. Three euros for adults, one euro fifty for children, three for babies. Santa Pola is a small fishing town as you'll see with all these boats as you can see there's plenty of them up there on a Friday night is the fish market all the fishing boats are bringing their fish. You can go up, have a look. It's nice. A couple of bars up there as well. You can get a beer. There's the fishing nets. Thousands of them. You can actually charter boats down here. You can go out fishing for tuna or whatever. Or whatever fish is out there. But it's a beautiful place, Santa Pola. Small streets, loads of apartments. Here's the boats. It's a bit quiet today, they're on their siesta. These are the boats that you get to Tabarka Island. If you were watching yesterday's vlog, I showed you uh, I showed you Tabarka. Well these are the boats that you get, they're about 10 euros return. There's a few boats here, half a dozen of them. And just up here at these stalls is you'll get your tickets. As I said yesterday again, if you're into snorkeling, Tabarka is a fantastic place. Really, really clear waters out there, that's where the diving schools go. A lot of these vendors, you see them running out and trying to undercut each other or telling and telling the clients that one of the vendors' boats is worse than the other boat, trying to get custom. Sign of the times, I suppose. There you go, Venta de Tickets, Tabarca. Loads of little fishing boats out here. We've got tons of restaurants here in Santa Pola. Loads of Spanish restaurants, but be careful. During the winter months, a lot of them shut for siesta. And a lot of them open about 8 or 9 o'clock in the evening. And these are the, the cabins, you'll get your tickets. At this time of the year you'll pay 10 euros return. It's well worth a day out. <clears throat> Once you've been though, that's it, you probably won't go back. Beautiful, beautiful area. A couple of really nice restaurants down here, but they're expensive. There they go, Burger King. <laughs> it's a beautiful area that's nice and safe you don't get any cars here any traffic there's about 10 12 bars here that you can just come relax it's not too expensive i think it's about 350 a, a large beer you'll get a tapas with that your tapas you know that can include a lot of things whether it's nuts crisps whatever they decide to give you it really is a beautiful place. A lot of families come down here at night time. Across here is where all the money is. Back there was the smaller boats. Across here the boats start getting bigger. As I say 
stage, you can charter a boat here, you can go out fishing. One of my friends done it before, it's about five or six hundred euros though for the day, so there'll, there'll need to be about five or six of you to split the cost. But it's all day, you got a couple of beers thrown in, and you get uh, food. Plenty of pubs. Some of these pubs have music on at night time as well. Live bands. Last time we were here, there was a guy singing um, Pink Floyd. He was brilliant. Here you go, the bigger boats. Abramovich had a boat up the far end there. As it says, it's quieter now. Everybody's in their beds. Information from water sports, kayaking, canoeing, surfing, sailing. And there's a number 965-412-403. Crucero means cruises. It's really nice down here. mentioned that uh, Santa Pola has got two or three beaches as well, they're beautiful. Two across here at the far end and then one back that way. And they're nice, nice and shallow for the kids. There's the boys doing their rounds. There's something happening today, there's all uh, these barriers up. Struggling to get a parking space today, down here even though it's quiet. There you go guys, Alquiler de Barcos, that means the rent of boats. 646-551-042 or 645-779-109. Give them a call, it's possible that's what you're, that's what you're gonna get. It's about six meters, seven meters. Now this is where the money is. To park your boat in this area is 7,000 euros per year. 7,000. There's the Club Nautico. Exclusive members only. see a lot of families down here with their kids. Nice and safe for them, but you have to be careful with this area because there's no barriers here. A lot of rocks here, this is where the lads come for fishing. What a looks off in market today. Funny thing is, you never ever see anybody catching any fish. There's a veil lounge bar. Nice. And here's the beach. Nice sand. Nice and clean as well. We're going to call it a day there. Um, another beautiful day here in Spain. Today we're in Santa Pola. Um, hope this, this has helped you if you ever want to come here for a visit. And uh, again, if you have not subscribed, please do like, comment, and uh, share my YouTube channel, please.
I'd appreciate that. Thanks again.